Well, would you look at that, it flies. Now, as unsurprising as that may be, it's actually quite interesting, and so are the ways that we can study it. Recently, we have developed complicated computer simulation to simulate things like air moving over a cow or a vehicle. However, when computers seemed as far in the future as a world where I won't have to worry about college debt, we had wind tunnels. If you haven't figured out by now, this video is going to be about wind tunnels, and I'm actually going to try to make one. I don't know how it's going to go. We're, we're going to find out. Now, a wind tunnel is really, really complicated. It's a tunnel with wind blowing through it. Basically, the wind tunnel's goal is to simulate an object moving through air. So, for example, a cow. Now, the way that the one I'm going to be building does this is by having a fan over here that sucks the air through the whole wind tunnel. At the front, there's gonna be this piece, which I forgot the name. That's basically gonna help the atmospheric air become a laminar flow through the test chamber of the wind tunnel. Now it's time for the material montage. I'll be using this foam board for most of the construction. I'm gonna be using tape and hot glue to connect everything. Don't forget the electronics, that way you can actually control it. All right, so if... Oh, and forgetting the controller is an essential step. Trust me, you need that. All right, so we have everything I'm gonna be using to build and control the project. Now all we need to do is build it. So, I really don't have that much planned out. Uh, all I know is I'm gonna be basing the whole design off the size of this propeller. That's mainly just because I don't wanna have to wait for another one. The only real downside to this is that our test chamber is gonna end up being about this size. Actually, it's not gonna be about that size. For this propeller, it's gonna end up being about this size. I would like to have a larger test chamber. However, this is probably gonna be better because I'll actually be able to store this somewhere in my house. The wind tunnels I found online actually ended up looking kind of wonky, so like they would end up being like that, and then like that, for some reason. So I'm pretty sure you can just kind of build it, but we'll find out sooner or later if it actually works or not. got this part finished. This is the part where the propeller is going to mount. It's going to mount right here. I'm going to make a mount somehow. I don't know how yet, but I will make one. Now, all we need to build is the test chamber that attaches onto here, and then the venturi at the front that attaches onto the test chamber. So we got the walls of the test chambers built. Now all we need is a window to look through into the test chamber to see what's going on, a way for the smoke to get into the wind tunnel, and a way for us to hold something inside of the test chamber while also being able to rotate it. For the windows, I have these croissant boxes, and I'm planning on cutting out this piece of plastic and using it as windows. I have, I'll have four of those pieces of plastic, so that should be enough to cover most of the part of the window that I need to cover. We have the front and top panels finished. Now we need to finish the back and bottom one. The bottom one's not gonna have anything on it. The back one's gonna be actually gonna be holding onto the thing in the wind tunnel from the back one. So that's gonna be the most important. All right, so change of topic and change of location. We are now in our 3D printing room, also just our laundry room. So earlier I said I was gonna make a motor mount. Well, now I'm actually gonna do that. But you can see the corners, they lifted up while I was printing, so probably gonna have to print another one because that. Alright, this one, I have no clue what went wrong, it just kind of stopped halfway through. 
when he just decided to grow fur. All right, fourth time's the charm. It finally came out and the pieces are actually usable. They're actually really good. All right, so we got everything we need for the motor mount. Over here we have the actual motor mounting supplies I'm gonna use to mount the motor to the frame. We have the frame itself and this has a shroud and then we have the propeller mounting stuff. So we're gonna test it for the first time on camera. Alright, so I did a little bit of work off camera. You can see I attached all the electronics here and I taped them all there. Now all we need to do is hook the receiver up, hook the battery up. Alright, so we have everything binded and I went in, quit beeping please. So we have everything binded, I went in and limited the throttle, so that way it can't go above a little bit because this is quite a large motor and quite a large fan so we don't really need it to be going that fast. First on camera test, hopefully everything goes okay. There it is. So if I flip it around the way it's supposed to go, I can actually feel air going through here. You can't. I don't really have a good way to visualize it. And also I'm not really sure how loud it is. You know, on second thought, I think I'm good for taping it for now. It's gonna be a little bit hard to do, and my thumb is now stuck in it, so. All right, let's get this attached to the rest of the wind tunnel. Wait a minute, y'all cannot see. That's pretty good. Okay, I just realized something. I glued it to the part that's gonna have to move. So, whoa, that was weird. I'm gonna have to unglue it. And glue it. Get rid of this crazy spider with the glue that's happening. All right, to make sure I don't do that again, and y'all cannot see again. Okay, so to make sure that doesn't happen again, I'm gonna go ahead and button the latch it from here. Don't forget this time. enough for me, I'm gonna move it down to see it better. Alright, so the wind tunnel is not 100% complete, but it's basically ready for testing. I tried to look cool and put these in while I'm talking, but now it's not going in, so it's kind of not working. So I made a couple changes off of camera. I put some black paper at the back so that we can see the smoke better. I built this like ski looking thing. And this is gonna be a support for it, so it's gonna sit down there in the bottom to support it all. I'm gonna attach this and also the rod that goes through it and we should be ready to test. Alright, so the foam has loosened up a little bit on these. I'm gonna actually put the nuts on the other side now. It's also time to test, so. by a little bit of smoke in my life. So at the top, what you're seeing is vertices being formed. These are little pockets of air where the air circles around. Minecraft Steve, there are a lot of low pressure points behind him since he's basically just a bunch of cubes. Next up are some of my favorite of the shots. Now what you're seeing here are wingtip vertices and these are actually really bad for aerodynamics, but they're cool to look at.
some big brain engineers came along and decided to mitigate this by literally just putting the wall up. Alright, so I am super happy with how this turned out. I am thinking of making a follow-up video to this where I just do a bunch of other tests and stuff. I think that'd be fun. So if you have anything you'd like to see me test, let me know in the comments and I might try to test it in the next one. Anyways, I hope you all learned a little bit and enjoyed. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.